Coppinger's going to take it right foot to Coppinger! Oh! Doncaster Rovers have done it! Oh, hello there. I was just checking to see if uh, Rovers were off the bottom of the league yet. And, um, no, we're not. We're not. One nil defeat against Fleetwood. Absolute shambles. Again. Do you get the serious feeling of deja vu again? It's like that song from example. Kick starts again. Do, 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 do. The lost record kick starts again. And to quote example again. Well, when it comes to defeats. Change the way you kissed me. That's what defeats do. Change the way I think about the club. One win in ten. The worst goal difference in the league. The lowest amount of goals scored. What more can I say? That hasn't been said already. We are going down, so we are going down. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Nearly every single fan has now woken up to the fact that we are going down. We're going on a League 2 tour. Going down, going up again. Going down, going up again. And it's going to be that way. And you saw the fan cam tonight from Ian. He said we need to rebuild in League 2. And I, I, I see where he's coming from. Do we even have the mentality to get back up into League 1 next season? Because if some of this lot stay, I really don't think so. The, the play was slow. It was lethargic. It was... It was killing the life out of every single fan. The atmosphere compared to other games was silent. It was silent. We tried to chant. No one joins in. Fans stuck to their phones. During the match... No, there was doesn't there didn't seem to be a lot of interest, especially where I, you know, for me, from a few people where I was, there didn't there doesn't seem to be an interest in this team anymore, and can you blame them? I don't blame them. I don't blame them going on the phones during the match. Because what's more interesting, playing Angry Birds, or watching that shower of dog rubbish? I'd choose Angry Birds. I'd choose trying to. Kill King Pig on Angry Birds 2 or something like that. And this club is turning me into an Angry Bird. Because I'm about to rant. And I don't want to do that. But some of the play out there was shocking. It was shocking. Some of the decision making. Oh my God. Do some of these players need to go to Vision Express? And get their eyesight checked. Because last last time I saw, you didn't have to pass like that. Or you didn't have to make a movement like that. Or make a decision like that. Or make a terrible shot like that. Which we barely had anyway. And to top it off, what's the thing fans want the most? Transfer deals. Who scores for Fleetwood? The new signing that they announced the morning of the flipping game. It's just like an extra kick in the teeth, isn't it? Now, McSheffrey came out on Radio Sheffield and said, hopefully a couple of new faces next week for the game. I really hope he, stu I really hope he sticks to his word. And I hope the club sticks to his word. The board, the managers, the players. I hope they stick to their word. That there's hopefully going to be one or two new faces next week. Because, as far as I'm concerned, that's what I'm clinging on to. I'm not clinging on to survival, because I really don't think a January window is going to save us from relegation at this point. Especially since we've gone through two six-pointer matches and lost both of them. 
And we've got the next 10 games now. The next winnable game on paper, we, you'd say, would be Lincoln. That's away from home, though. We've collected one point away from home in the league. And Lincoln are just above us, and that is on the 15th of February. From now, up until then, we've got home games and away games that just... They just don't seem to be... They just don't seem to be winnable, do they? They just don't. And what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do now. We prepare. Prepare for the worst. And the worst is relegation to League 2. For the second time in five years, in the eight years under the current regime. Now, would you have told me 12 months ago that we were going to get on the verge of relegation to League 2? I'd have left your head off, because 12 months ago we were top of the league nearly, under Darren Moore. And we were fighting. We were fighting to be top of the league. And we were looking good. We started the season that, off that year with some real eye-catching performances. And then we turned a corner, went down a cliff for a bit. Darren Moore left, and we really face-planted the cliff. And then since then, it's just been nothing but a shower of rubbish. You see my player ratings at the side of me. I'll just go through those ratings quickly. Dalbo, 5. Um, Noyal, 4. Roshaw Williams, 5. Alohu, 5. Horton, 4. Rowe, 4. Galbraith and Smith, 5. Barlow, 4. Bogle, 4. Hawula, 2. The subs, Chakur, 2. To do two and Seaman five. Now they're all under five, five or under. Dahlberg for keeping us in it and making it just one nil. Um, Galbraith was okay, nothing stand out again, but he was all right. Smith was decent, player of the match again. Um, Charlie Seaman came on. Had a bit of threat about him, especially towards the end when he had that late strike. Uh, straight past the goalkeeper, Alex Cairns. You know, and, he, and you know, one of Ponce's best, better moments when he saved the, the free kick from Danny Andrew. You know, last season in the 3 1 defeat at the Highbury Stadium, Danny Andrew scored that free kick against the likes of Balcom. Um, Pontus Dahlberg makes a good save on that one. You know, you know, I commend him for that. But overall, I just don't know where we're going at the moment. I just really, really don't. So we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm not confident. I'm really not confident. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm Aaron Chandler from Forever Football DRC. You, your dog's Rovers fan channel. Keep living the Rovers life, and that, my friends, full time. Rovers side die. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next one. But yeah, we just we could be relegated as early as March or April. It is as simple as that.